What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with WWE Action Figure Surgery. I told you the other day that we would be back-to-back -back with quick, rapid episodes because we had a lot of fix-ups to do, man. We had a lot of stuff to cover and a lot of things to get into, and we are back with WWE Action Figure Surgery 84, I think. I think this is number 84 now. Very excited for it. I think it's going to be a good day. Lots of stuff to cover, lots of things to get into. We got some Elite 101 in the house, which is always shocking. Not shocking. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but it's epic. I'm excited. We got some good stuff going on here, man. You guys know how these videos work if you've been around the moon a couple times. Again, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I'm just I'm just spouting out where I'm like a god dang word faucet just spouting out sh right now. Even that one was weird. I don't know. Diving into it, man. We have Elite 101 Cody Rhodes. I always start off with the guy on the stretcher. You guys know how it goes. But this Cody Rhodes figure, first Elite Cody Rhodes we have seen from Mattel in 70 sets. Elite 32? No, Elite 36. I think Elite 36 Stardust, you know, quote unquote but it was a Cody Rhodes figure. It was a Cody Rhodes Elite. Elite 32 is our last normal Cody Rhodes. But we're back with Elite 101, and you guys know they did this weird neck tattoo thing. If you guys want my full thoughts on this neck tattoo thing, you can check out my Elite 101 Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens review. I think that's what I did for the two-in-one. Go check that out. I cover this at nauseum and kind of detail exactly what my thoughts are on that perspective of the figure. However, we're going to be acetoning that off today, and that kind of gives you everything you need to know about what I feel about this neck tattoo here. So I am going to be acetoning acetoning off the tattoo right here at the top of the torso and just leaving the crowns right here on the jawline. Look at your face, Brad. You thought I was being serious? Absolutely not, Brad. We're going to be acetoning off the jawline spot. As you guys know, these figures are removable. Like, the heads are easily removable. Thank Christ. I'd like to think, you know, I'd like to think action figure surgery played a role in that, you know? They're like, damn, he keeps breaking those neck pegs. Maybe we should just make them interchangeable. But we are going to be acetoning this off right here so that it'll be completely blank. That way, when you put the head sculpt back on right here, it will be similar to the Supreme Collection and the tattoo will stay in spot. So when you do this, you don't get that weird gappage. And we're also going to be replacing this weight belt with the Jazz Wears weight belt because I think it's more accurate and it looks better. So leave me alone. Gotta love a good Cody Rhodes. <clears throat> Next up, we have my boy Giovanni sent me some epic figures and today we're going to be fixing them up. We have this Elite 86 Rollins with the custom PWR Lucha RVD clothes. Now what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm actually excited about this. Instead of, I was just just gonna head swap this figure or or do something where I head swapped it but instead of doing a head swap I need to get my boy so my boy Ty Goodridge sent me this custom MDT my damn Rollins MDT inspired Seth Rollins figure we're gonna do like a three-way trade right here where I'm gonna take my extra elite 93 Rollins and instead of what I was thinking about was putting this head sculpt over here and like putting this head sculpt over here and like doing this weird thing but I uh but I think what I finally figured out I want to do is I want to pop this head sculpt off, put it on this figure, remove these custom clothes, put them on the Elite 93 over here. Oh wait, these kick pads are going to be red. Oh my god. I can always acetone them off at a later date. I don't care. I'm putting these clothes over here because it'll be an updated formula. It'll be double jointed arms. It'll be the RVD gear with the, you know, the man bun head sculpt. Doesn't change too much from what we have here. And then I'm going to take this head sculpt off, put it on the My Damn Rollins, and then put the blonde head sculpt on the Elite 86 figure in the pink. I think that I'm going to do a three-way trade deal right here, and I think that works out for all the organizations involved. So we're going to do like a three-way Seth Rollins fix-up deal right there, and that should all look good. Moving into the next one, we have Stone Cold Kevin Owens. Now, this one's not too, too far-fetched or insane, but I think it's going to work. If you guys remember my video on this, if you guys want to know how to make your own Stone Cold Kevin Owens like this, you can watch the custom tutorial we did on this figure right here. I'm just knocking figures over, and I'm about to knock myself out with a baseball bat if I don't stop knocking stuff over but we did get the Elite 101 Kevin Owens and it did come with this shirt but I think this figure is better. I think my custom is better than what Mattel gave us because it is accurate to the segment here. I'm going to be head swapping these so I'm going to put the screaming head sculpt with the bald cap look over here. First of all it has the full hand tats from the actual segment which is what this head sculpt replicates. I'm going to take this shirt put it on an Austin down the line like just keep this shirt for a, for a rainy day because I like the ultimate anyway. It's got the back graphic and the front graphic. Put this head sculpt over here. Throw this head sculpt in the goddamn trash. I'm just kidding. It'll probably go on a random crowd member. And then I'm going to put the normal KO head sculpt from WrestleMania 38 onto the WrestleMania 38 body that will now be accurate from the matchup. So getting usage out of both head sculpts without having to buy two KOs or anything like that. So making this custom actually turned out beautiful. It's double jointed arms. I mean this, this is what I expected to get from Mattel, but they did a two-in-one and it turned out perfect for me because I have both head sculpts 
ropes to utilize now and that nothing could have prepared me for that moment that worked out beautifully so that was excellent dr whiteicus knows what's going on sometimes and then sometimes he's a blithering idiot next up we have elite 101 ricochet now i i battled with this man you guys can let me know what your thoughts are elite 101 ricochet do you put the decade of domination lower legs kofi kingston yellow on here or do you put the ugly ass custom elite mustafa ali lower legs on here from like 10 years ago whenever i made that and just put the bl all black kick pads on there i think both of them would work um honestly the all black kick pads probably make him more height accurate if you want my honest opinion i feel like if i put the kofi kingston ones on there I, now i it is going to be bummy that i'm going to lose these the yellow kick pads because you guys know he does have johnny gargano syndrome which we've covered at nauseum here on the channel somebody can let somebody know the definition down in the comment section below but i really want him to stay height accurate and I, it doesn't really bother me like i could always acetone these designs off the of kofi kingston i just uh I, it, it would bum me out to lose the yellow on the figure but i don't know i may put the kofi on there see what it looks like and then switch them at a later date i'll probably start with the kofi we can acetone it like the seth rollins will acetone it later on and then uh we'll fix that up at a later date as well i don't know we're gonna play around with that but we're gonna we're gonna decide on some lower legs for our elite 101 ricochet and just kind of look at that and then last but not least what i have here is i have three different jimmy uso shout out to my man giovanni for this custom one here i'm going to be combining these three here's the here's the jazz wears cody belt i'm gonna be combining these three jimmies to make the ultimate jimmy for the pick fed and the one that i want even though this head sculpt's not great you guys know that i did paint these custom jordans onto this jimmy i'm going to be taking the shirt from this jimmy putting it over here the we the one shirt then i'll take the jacket from this jimmy put it on to this jimmy as well so i have the jacket over the shirt and then i don't know if i'll put the bandana on. you guys know in the pick fed they have the bandanas for the bloodline like i've, I've had them rocking the bandanas for years now this whole faction and like the way they're portrayed on television is just insane the way they turned out like this this roman heel character i created my pick fed way before they did it on wwe tv and it's just so beautiful i said this is the way roman should be booked and then bam they booked it that way crazy turn of events but we're going to be combining all three of these to make an ultimate jimmy with all the goods and i can't wait for that i think it's going to be sick as hell he's even got the hat on there it's going to be badass because he looks pissed off it's just it's just money you know what i just thought about it'd be dope to take one of these jimmy head sculpts and then replace the hair piece or have somebody sculpt the hair to look like this jimmy so then it, you could interchange the head sculpts and make it look like a yelling jimmy and a regular jimmy i don't know jimmy jimmy anyways that is all the stuff we're going to be doing here today on wwe extra figure surgery should be a great one let's shut the hell up dive into what we're going to do and get it started all right man so the first thing we're going to do today is going to be cody rhodes man i just feel like it should be relatively simple now if you guys were unaware we have 100 percent pure acetone right here man this is the kind that i use and i i don't like to have it open for a really long time you know you want to get in get out i spill it every time and if you have like hangnails or something like that brad prepare to burn alive we're just going to pour a little bit in here we're going to set that there i'm going to zoom in here i have a bunch of trusty q-tips here and we're just going to remove this head sculpt so i don't damage the neck or anything we're going to zoom in right here and we are going to acetone off this tattoo now i've done this multiple times in my life and it should be relatively simple like look at that right there dude just wipes right off now i am going to be careful when i get around the hair because i do not want to you know take off some of that that lovely blonde hair that cody has so i'm just gonna kind of wipe down right here it may take a couple passes i recommend kind of like overdoing it a little bit like doing multiple passes because sometimes you know you get some of that spread paint and you don't want it to just sit there and leave like a small stain or like a little bit of paint just kind of chilling there so i am going to try my best to get this off right here there's like a little bit left here you guys can kind of see the blue paint kind of chipping through and like see this could probably work but i'm gonna go one step further get a little bit more and wipe the rest off i think that's pretty money right there and then again just kind of overdo it you know what i mean just kind of there's no no reason you can't just do an extra a few passes looks pretty clean i may again i'm just gonna hit it one more time just covering all my bases covering all my areas and now boom cody is perfect and we'll take a look at that in a moment now one thing i also want to do first of all let's zoom this out i'm gonna pour this back into the bottle and then tighten this up nice 
and we are done with this. I'm gonna throw these in the trash because that's where they belong with Corbin. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this weight belt because it's absolute dog water. Get that out of there. And we are going to put the Jazzwares AEW one on here again, man, because it's just better, man. The buckle's the accurate color. The shape of it is better. And I just like that. So we will take a closer look at the American Nightmare or the America Nightmare in some circles. And we'll look at him in just a moment. Now, our next order of business is going to be none other than Stone Cold Kevin Owens. And this one should be relatively easy. I don't think we're going to face a whole lot of problems right here. We shouldn't require any heat, if I'm not mistaken. But we are going to take off this shirt. First thing we're going to do is take off the Austin 316 shirt, revealing the custom Austin shirt that he wore at WrestleMania. And then I'm going to remove this head sculpt. It is interchangeable, so we shouldn't have to put any heat on there. Thank Christ. If that snapped the neck peg, bro, I'm going to have a fit. So we got our KO there. Next up, we're going to remove this head sculpt. Now, I think this one's also removable, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir, it is. So that's beautiful. This one is getting the hell out. He can go rotten hell. This one is now going to go over here. The interchangeable Elite 101 head sculpt will go on there, and we'll take a look at him at the moment. At the moment. At the end, you dumb jagaloon. I'm going to put him over here with Cody, and we'll, we'll take a look at them at the end. And then we're going to also plop on the Elite 101 regular Kevin Owens head sculpt, and uh, we'll take a look at him at the end. So, very simple surgery today, man. At least to this point. Things get complicated at any moment. You guys, things can change drastically in surgery, especially MDT surgery, Brad. Now, moving on to our next business. Let's get into Seth Rollins. Now, we are going to get the white trusty hair dryer because I want to heat up this head sculpt on my MDT Rollins. I don't want to, like, mess him up too bad, like, slide him around, so I want to be very careful with that one. This one, I am going to heat him up, but I'm going to remove the clothes first because we have better... I don't think this pops off. Yeah, Elite 86. I don't think the heads were interchangeable. I think it was Elite 87 when the when the clothes became... Or not the clothes, when the head sculpts became interchangeable, or at least that's when they kind of started. Pulling the Seth Rollins entrance vest off, which looks magnificent. Great quality right here, man. I love PWR Lucha. And then pulling these tights off, revealing the Elite 86 gear underneath. Pulling those off and then we're gonna heat this head sculpt up. This one may be interchangeable, actually. Not gonna risk it, Brad. There's just no point. We're gonna leave that there, heat up both of these head sculpts. I do not need to heat up this head sculpt because we're just gonna put the clothes over this. So, now I gotta heat these heads up. Do we need to heat anything else up? I believe we do, Brad. I believe we do. We need to heat up these lower legs on this ricochet. And I don't know if I want... Oh my god in heaven, bro. I don't know if I want to do the Kofi, yellow Kofi legs, or Mustafa Ali ugly ass custom legs. That's kind of what we're, well, that's our predicament right now. And I truly think the black would give us the best look, maybe? And the more accurate height? I'm gonna go with Mustafa Ali. I might regret that. It may be bummerific, but I'd rather, this is where I'm at, okay? I'd rather trash the ugly Mustafa Ali custom rather than trash the Kofi Kingston Decade of Domination. You know as well as I do, I hate sacrificing figures to surgery when I don't have an extra copy of said figure, which is exactly why you always want to have extra said figures. That's why we're constantly buying extras and constantly blowing money. Or not blowing money, but you get the point. Uh, You know what I've never done? I've never heated up a figure just standing straight up. Like, what if you heat it up right here at the knees for so long and then he just caved? I've never seen that, but we're not going to start today, Brad. I'm going to like lay him like this. This is a very unique way of doing it, but we're going to attempt it anyway, and while the white trusty hair dryer is going, I'm going to attempt to put these damn RVD Seth Rollins clothes onto this Elite 93 Seth Rollins. This is my extra one, and I planned on doing a Monday Night Rollins with this, taking this figure and just, like, completely taking off all of the the color and making it, you know, like his all-black gear, but haven't had a chance to, you know what I'm saying? But white trusty hair dryer, let's get it. I'm going to try my best. Actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to put the damn clothes on there because I got to hold this thing in position I'm pretty sure all right Brad that should be plenty of heat Jesus and I also used this LJN Cody to uh, or this you know unmatched series one Cody 
to hold the white trusty hair dryer. He may become the one that we use from now on. Holy hell, these legs are hot as hell, Brad. I am very glad to be getting rid of Johnny Gargano syndrome, man. I mean, this is something that I didn't, again, I never expect to see Johnny Gargano syndrome in 2023. I never expected it, Brad, but you, sometimes you gotta expect the unexpected. And uh, right here, we're going to line up this. Okay, I don't want the yellow peg. I think the black peg would just, you know what I'm saying? I think it'd look better there. So we're gonna slide this through here, and then I'm gonna have to take the peg and just kind of mush it through here. It's been a minute since we've done this, and uh, we may run into troubles. I hope not, but you never know. When you take a break from doing lower legs like this, especially... Oh, God, come on now. I felt like I was gonna get it. I honestly should probably be switching those head sculpts over there, to be honest with you. All right, we almost got it. I think we got it. Dude, how's that not in there? For the love of Christ and all things that are holy. All right, we got the one lower leg, and now I need the other one. All right, this one doesn't feel like it got heated up enough, unfortunately. But you know what, Brad? We're gonna, we're gonna freaking attempt it anyway. I don't look forward to it, though. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna zoom in just a tad here. And then raise this up, stick this in here, take this. See, I feel like the yellow peg would have really threw off the illusion. Um, I can see clearly right through the hole, but I don't know if this is going to be possible. going to stick this here. Son of a hell. Put the peg into the hole here, and then just, I just don't think it got enough heat, man. Damn! Well, while that waits, I'm going to pop this Elite 86 head sculpt off. Got it off. This is right when they were still smaller. Actually, it's not as small as I was thinking. That's what she said. We're going to take this head sculpt, plop that off. I'm going to put this on the Elite 86 Rollins because I think it's actually going to be badass, especially with the blonde hair. Really well painted by Showstopper Custom Figs. I don't know if this is an Elite 45 Seth Rollins head exactly or if it was a different one. I think it's an Elite 45. Like, I know that's the one they used, but I don't know if it's actually from an Elite 45. You know what I'm saying? Like, actual sculpted everything. Then we're going to take the Elite 86 head sculpt, plop it on the My Damn Rollins, and we're going to take a look at him in just a moment. I made good decisions today, Brad. And then the only thing we have to do is put this mother effer through the F and F. F. So the thing is, is I used to do it a different way and everybody was like, MDT, why don't you just push it through the hole, son? And I'm like, cuz dad, you don't even get me. <sighs> All right, I finally have and got it. We'll take a look at him in just a moment. Thank God we don't have Johnny Gargano syndrome. Now, I may post later on, and uh, you know what I'm saying? I may change it. I may go I may go to the Kofi Kingston, but we're going to look at the Mustafa Ali for now. And uh, now I don't have to look at this ugly bitch. Now I can put him in the in the old box. Yeah, get look, look that way. Looks nothing like Mustafa Ali. What a terrible custom. Why didn't somebody tell me that back when I made it? How about that? Well, MDT, we did, you dumb idiot. Nonetheless, man, we got to get these jobs. John Brown pants on this Rollins and I don't know how difficult this is going to be. You just got to keep pulling it and mushing it up right here. I'm just going to slide these up like so and then slide this up right here and just keep on sliding. And again, I know the red on the kick pads is there. Brad, I didn't really assess that at the beginning. However, we can acetone that off at a later date. But you do want to pull these up and get this all unbunched. But we'll look at this at the end. I think I do finally have it in position here as this man's pants are literally around his freaking ankles. All right, Brad, our next order of business is going to be the good old Uso figures, or Jimmy, or yeah, Jimmy. It's definitely Jimmy. I'm going to be taking this Jimmy figure and making him look even more beautiful than he already is, even though these shoes, they work. They're the same exact mold as the other one. They just kind of were like lean forward a little bit. Now they look beautiful. Good Lord, what a beautiful figure. So happy with it. Like once he gets all his gear on, it's going to be absolutely incredible, even more than it already is. But what we got to do is we got to get this jacket off of this Jimmy and this shirt off this Jimmy and put this shirt on Jimmy and the jacket on Jimmy. Then we'll Jimmy jacket, Jimmy shirt, jacket, Jimmy. So what we're going to do, uh, yeah, this should be relatively easy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just pop this head off. What a great day to be alive it is, man. I know we're getting the ultimate Usos coming soon, but what I'm saying is, is it's just a great day to be able to just pop off these, these, these head sculpts, man. I mean, Dr. Whitekiss has been pleading for this day for a minute, even though it makes, you know, the trusty hairdryer have to retire early, especially if they end up doing that with like all the parts but this jimmy looks beautiful and then uh for this i'm not gonna take all this gear off um i'm just gonna remove the hat and then we just gotta put his arms up right here and then somehow fin 
finagle this shirt on. It's going to probably be kind of difficult with, you know, the, uh, with the, uh, on camera and everything like that, but I typically put the one arm through the hole, put it on the head, pull the shirt down, completely miss the sleeve hole, put the shirt over the head. You can't really put it on like a regular shirt, man. People be like, just put it on like a regular shirt. Nah doesn't work it might work just doesn't work for me all the time if i tear this shirt in half which i highly doubt because pwr loot yeah okay pwr loot's quality is absolutely incredible putting that shirt on there i mean that already looks fire with the shirt and shoes <laughs> look at the hat oh my god in heaven he looks like he's gonna murder everyone's family and that's what we love all right Next, take this Jimmy, remove Jimmy's title, take off this jacket. I remember hunting down like two or three of this Uso back in the day because I wanted I wanted multiples of this jacket and then I put the red shoes from the Elite 54. That way you'd have, you know, like all red Usos. But holy mackerel, bro. Look how sweet this Jimmy's gonna look. Oh my gracious. Look at this Jimmy jacket. Look at this Jimmy jacket. Oh my God. Dude, look at that right there. You're gonna tell me that that's not Jimmy jacket, Jimmy shirt, jacket, Jimmy. Effin' perfect. Oh my god, man. Look at this figure. Look at this. I mean, perfection. Absolute perfection. The drip is unfreaking believable I know I'm not supposed to show it to the end, all right? Now I got three Jimmys and a Jimmy jacket. But if not only if you take this, you can take this Jimmy right here. And then look, you take our bloodline Roman. Look at this now. Hold up. And you take our Roman custom head sculpt. Look at that right there. Now all we're missing is our black jogger Jay, which is coming later this year, but I'm not gonna wait, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm going to get Jay into these black joggers. Now what you could do, in all honesty, you could uh, I think what I wanted to do was I wanted to get a black sleeve and put it on the other arm for Jimmy, and you could pass it off, let's be real you could easily put like this arm onto a Jay, like I could put this arm over here and then give him the, give him this same black sleeve and put the J head sculpt on there. Nobody's even you, you wouldn't even really be able to tell the difference. Now, I know he's got like slightly different tattoos and nowadays he's actually got two chest tattoos. I'm pretty sure his whole chest is pretty much covered so you'd be able to tell and that's kind of what bothers me but there's a way to do it bro. There's definitely a way to do it but I've slowly built up the Uso collection and I'm having a ton of fun with it. I know this is a bit off kilter for extra figure surgery. I just kind of get on a rant because how damn beautiful this J, this Jimmy is. Look at that Jimmy. Look at me. Look at the Jimmy J Roman. Mm. Let's look at everything we've done here today. And look, another Jimmy. It's just, it's a Jimmy party. All right, man, so getting into everything we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery, man. Starting out first, we have the American Nightmare. We have Cody Rhodes right here. And I'll be honest with you, you know, it's not uh, the cleanest project ever because the neck does kind of cut off here. What the hell is my camera doing? But right here, you guys will see, like, when he looks over here, you don't get that weird thing on the chin. This is definitely better, in my opinion, but you guys can see right here, it definitely does cover up the points a little bit, but doesn't bother me, man. It does not bother me because when he does this, where's it at? It's where it's supposed to be, and I can live with that. I could sleep at night. I mean, could you come in here and maybe cut off some of that right there? Maybe, but you may end up messing up the jawline. You mess up the jawline. You mess up the all line, as in the whole F, F and figures F at that point. But new weight belt and the tattoo being put off makes this figure perfection, and I can't wait for the Ultimate Edition, man. I am counting down the god dang days until that figure's released. But Cody looks freaking beautiful. I can, like, this is one of my favorite figures of the year thus far. No, we're early into the year, but still, it's worth mentioning. Next up, we do have our couple Kevin Owens right here. Now, I said it back in my review. This figure looks a whole lot damn better than it did when we saw the promo images. First promo images, this head sculpt looked dreadful. It looks a whole lot better here. I actually like this Kevin Owens figure a whole lot more than I than I did at the beginning of the year. You guys know Kevin Owens is one of my favorites in the world, and this figure looks fantastic. And now, look at the Stone Cold Kevin Owens custom. I was actually going to sell this figure, but now now that we have this release from Mattel and I have it accurate to the moment, tattoos, uh, like uncovered hands with all of his tattoos on there, hand painted by yours truly, all the way down full sleeve tats, got the screaming head sculpt with the bald cap, the shirt with the front and back graphics, the jean shorts, the knee braces, the boots. This figure has honestly become what, like a great figure in the collection, man. It actually looks damn good. I love it. And I'm absolutely not selling it now. I was going to, and I guess I could honestly make a custom and sell it, but uh, this was on the chopping block in my collection. No longer. No longer. It is actually going to be a keeper, and I love both the way those look. Today's a damn good day of surgery, man. I, I, I am actually really, really pleased with today, especially after the mishap of last surgery. I mean, look at this Jimmy Uso.
So in this We The One shirt with the jacket, with the hat, with the black joggers, with the J's, J's, this is Jimmy. <laughs> what a freaking, what a buffet, what a clown, what a jokester. If I painted this gold panel or acetoned off the gold and made it all black or just painted that red, would also add a little chef's kiss, but the necklace ties in there. You see him saying so? That's just chef's kiss, but now I feel like I need to make black and gold Usos. Mmm, that sounds kind of fire too, but this Jimmy is absolutely fantastic. Love the Jimmy. We also have our Rollins here. Here is the Elite 86 with the custom head sculpt on it. I love the way it looks, you know? I'm not a big fan of the old formula anymore for Rollins, but I think it still works for these. You know, I have a ton, an absolute-ish ton of Rollins on this formula, so it does not bother me, but I do like the updated formula. I think we did need it, and I think we're going to get it in the Greatest Hits Wave 2 when we get the Elite 45 Rollins re-release. That's my prediction for this year, and it's going to be on this formula, and this figure doesn't look bad whatsoever. I think that this formula fits nicely with this, you know, the RVD gear, and that new head sculpt looks great on there, the Elite 93. I'm already kind of sick of it because that was almost 10 series ago now, but, and it's a little bit oversized, but who are we kidding? The Rollins figures look amazing. Love My Damn Rollins right here with the new head, and love the pink fix up there. Those will all go on the shelf, respectively. And last but not least, we have Elite 101 Ricochet, who does have the fixed kick pad, and I like the all black. I think that it works out great. I love the fire knee pad with the fire and the black and yellow, and then you have the black hand tape. I think it looks damn good, and he remains short, so I, I think the Mustafa Ali was the move. I mean, could I have done the Kofi? Maybe, but I think this looks better. Look at it from the back shot. I think it worked out perfectly. I like the all black kick pads. I have zero problems with this. I think it turned out perfect, and that's why I think this episode of surgery was so damn good, man. I think it was an absolute just chef's kiss episode of WWE action figure surgery, but I want to know all of your thoughts down below, man. What do you guys think of surgery? Do you think it was buffoonery, or do you think that it was a nice episode? I think that we did do uh, some good deeds here today with our accomplishments in the surgery, but I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on all of my fix-ups down in the comments section below. Hopefully, I should have an update on the announcement in the next couple days. But anyway, man, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never